Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back to my channel. We have a lot to cover today. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Today, we're going to have a celebration time. Come on. Oh, that will be in just a moment. We are going to study today about Moses, the Mosaic Covenant. And we're going to talk about some leaders in the Bible. So far, we've been on a wonderful journey at God, Crochet, and Chatter. We're going through the Bible in a year, and we've already completed 11 weeks. We are in week 12. Our reading today was Deuteronomy 16 through 18. Tomorrow, chapters 19 through 21. All right, let's get to our studies, and then we're going to talk about my progress on my shawl, and then we're going to announce, or I'm going to announce, a one-year giveaway. Yes, I've been on one year. We'll talk about that in just a moment. All right, let's talk about leaders. We had Abraham was the leader of a family. All nations would be blessed. Moses was the leader of 12 tribes. Samuel, leader of a new nation. David, leader of a kingdom. Isaiah told what the greatest leader would be called. Jesus. Micah told where the greatest leader would be born. Malachi told of preparing the way for the greatest leader. We know who that is. Christ the greatest leader of all. So as we study these different leaders throughout the Bible, it opens up a whole new phase of Bible study. When we look at how things fit together and we see that jigsaw piece fitting in and we're soon we'll be getting the whole complete picture. Oh, great journey. In the book of Genesis, Israel was born. In Exodus, Israel was chosen. In Numbers, the nation was proven. In Leviticus, it was bought by the blood. Deuteronomy, it was instructed. Joshua, it faces conflict and conquest. Book of Redemption, out of Egypt, into the promised land. Joshua's name means Jehovah saves in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, it means Jesus. I found that to be kind of interesting. Okay, the Mosaic Covenant. The first five books of the Bible are called the Torah. That It was written in the oldest language, the oldest Hebrew language known. And... The Mosaic Covenant, Moses wrote those first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Now, there were cursings and blessings. Cursings were if you disobeyed. Blessings were if you obeyed. It's a testimony of a life in servitude to God. Moses' life was dedicated to serving God. And what a journey, what a life story he had to tell about being in service to God. And one of the last things that Moses says when he's about to die, he says, Remember your Lord. God will raise up a new prophet like me from the midst of your brethren. Brethren, Him you shall hear. And of course, that would be Joshua. And in our further studies, we will talk a lot about Joshua and his leadership. You know, Josh, Caleb and Joshua were with Moses right from the beginning. Aaron, his brother, and wow, can you imagine the stories they told each other or how they sat and thought about, wow, man, you know, what are we going to do with these children? They keep disobeying and I can't judge all these people all the time and how, you know, lead, you know, judges were appointed to help Moses. And wow, I'd like to be a fly on the wall back then. Wow, I think it would be amazing. I always thought it would be amazing to 
see Genesis played out through Revelation. You know, I know we're seeing it unfold before our eyes, but just to kind of like have a movie of the whole thing and all these people. Oh, wow. If that they ever made a movie like that, I'd be the first one in the ticket line. Oh, my goodness. It would be awesome. It'd be awesome. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my breaking down the sections, the leaders, who belongs where, what they did, why they did it, you know, who, what, when, how, and where. I mean, it's very important in our studies. I have grown so much since I started this journey with you, and I'm so glad that you are following along. I know that you have grown immensely, and it's just it's such an honor that I am here teaching what I know and that you are getting something from it. And that's what it's about. It's, it's about growing. On my channel, it's about growing in the knowledge of God, growing in your knowledge of the Bible, and also growing in your knowledge of crochet and trying new things. This is all about teaching, learning, and growing together. And thank you so much for joining me in doing that. I appreciate it so very, very much. All right. Now... Remember the summer poncho by Bago Day Crochet that was our crochet along? I'm not sure how many of you joined in on that. I know some of you had other projects going. I think I think it was Kathy maybe that said that she was going to do something. Well, I bummed out on it. I just I don't know. I, I don't know if I couldn't wrap my mind around it or just my thinking cap is on crooked. But I kept having trouble on this one row of the front post, back post of where to connect it. And somehow I kept getting lost and I forget to put my marker in the corners. Because you just get, you know, you're zooming through and now you bypass your corner. <laughs> and then you're missing a corner. I went, oh man, I said, you know, maybe it's just not the time for me to do that one right now. And I'm okay with that. I do want to go back and make it. It's a beautiful design. It's not the designer. The instructions are clear. She's got a video that explains everything, but yet it just kind of, phoom. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you've experienced this in some of your crochet projects, but I did go back and pick up this. This is the Just Feel Festive Shawl, and it's made with the loops and thread cotton colors 394 yards seven ounces 200 grams and this color is coral and i have got this much left of my first skein and this one these just feel festive shawl i can see more of these in my future because the first one i did I didn't check my, my gauge, and I missed the part where it said this should be measure um, anywhere from 16 to 18, how wide you want your scarf. Well, I had you know, way, out, oh, way out to there, and it was huge. In fact, this is it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was pretty big. And um, I thought, oh, my, that's kind of big. And this was, I mean, look at the width. <laughs> <laughs> not supposed to be that wide so I made this into a little shawlette which is fine um I do want to make another one in my scrap yarns because isn't that pretty with the scrap yarns so um anyway this one's coming along a lot better and now that I'm going on it it goes really quick I can see the popularity of it I worked quite a bit on it last night for about two three hours so, yeah, I'm just going to keep cranking on this one and get it done. Um, I should have, I'm, I'm thinking I should, what is today? Monday? I, I'm thinking by the end of the week, easily, I should have this done. Because I shouldn't say that, right? Then I, <laughs> something happens. Anyway, I'm working on it. Okay, let's get to the celebration. Let me grab this here. Okay, there we go. All right. Celebration time. Come on. Let's have a party. 
Oh, yes. Yay! Party time. Oh, don't you get excited when there's a giveaway? Oh, well, I am celebrating one year of being on YouTube, my channel, God, Crochet, and Chatter, where we put God first, talk about crochet, and we chat back and forth through our comments. I am hoping to do a live. I'm going to try it. I think that would be a fun thing to do. I've been talking about it, and I just need to make it happen. Sometimes we can talk and talk and talk, and time passes by, time passes by, and it doesn't get done. That's my next goal, is to do a live. All right, I'm going to tell you what's going to be in this giveaway and the rules and all that good stuff in just a moment. Ugh. Allergies. I've tried everything, you know, just I have to deal with it, I guess. But I'm, it's not as bad as other people have. So, oh, excuse me when I have to dab my nose a little bit, but that's okay. All right. This giveaway starts today, April 26th. It goes through May 26th. A winner will be drawn on May 27th. And that's 2-2021. <laughs> the rules are you must be 18 years old to enter. Enter. This is open only to the USA. I just cannot afford shipping to outside the USA. Um, shipping costs are going up constantly, and it's a shame. It really is. But for now, that's what I have to do. That's what my budget will allow. All right. I think we got all the goodies out of the way. I will put all that information in the drop-down box below for you about the giveaway. And I would like you to make a comment, and I will tell you what that comment needs to have in it. I, in this giveaway, I'm going to be giving this shawl in the ball. It's called Restful Rainbow. Look at that next to my hair. Isn't that pretty? Can you imagine if, if I made a, like a scarf with this and with my hair? Oh, that would be pretty cool. But I decided to put this in the giveaway. Not only one, but two. And now this is called Restful Rainbow. And there's a little shawl on the front. There you go. I just think the colors in this are absolutely gorgeous. Very beautiful. So yeah, so there's that. Now, this is where the comment comes in. I'm going to be making some things to add to this giveaway. Dishcloths, scrubbies, butterfly, butterfly magnets, um, a dish towel with the crocheted top across it. Okay, now, I like to make things to be in my giveaways. And... I will show you in other videos things that I'm adding to this giveaway. So you want to make sure you tune in every day to see if anything's been added. And of course, to listen to the daily devotion and my progress on my crochet things. And so in the comment, tell me some things that you would like to see in the giveaway. You know, dishcloths, crochet towel toppers scrubbies, you know, those type of things. Those are things that I can, you know, punch out pretty quick, pot holders, that type of thing. I want to make this a very fun giveaway for you. I certainly have enjoyed being on here for a year. I have grown so much, and I love each and every one of you, and all your comments mean so much to me. Now, you must... Okay. Just a minute. All right. To be in the giveaway, you must be 18 years old. You know, I want you need to press the notification bell for further updates to my channel or to be notified when the drawing, when I've drawn a winner. Please hit that like button for me. I know a lot of you don't necessarily comment, which is fine. But if you do watch and you don't have time to comment, will you please press that like button for me? YouTube, I think, goes by the likes that I get. I'm really trying to reach a 1,000 subscribers this year. So hit that like button, the subscribe button, and that share button. I would certainly appreciate it. And 
I think I included, let me think. Yeah, I got everything included. <laughs> you know, I made this video three times, so I want to make sure I'm getting this one right. <laughs> I think I did it okay. All right, I think that's all. Um, I do want to leave one more thing with you. There was a minister uh, in this church, and an elderly gentleman was one of the members that had been there years and years and years. And the minister decided to ask a question of his congregation. He said, I, I want someone to tell me what their favorite Bible verse is and why. And this gentleman shot up his hand right away and he said, it shall come to pass. He says, okay. He said, Joe, is that you? Yeah, read your high. He said, okay, Joe, um, why that verse? Well, I've been a, I have lived a many a year. I am like 86 years old now. And one thing I've learned in life, it shall pass. And it did. He said, any trouble I came up against, any hardships, fears, anxieties, whatever it was, I remembered this too shall pass. And it did. He said, so whatever you get down in life and you get discouraged, just remember, this too shall pass. All right, everyone, I am going to get ready to go for a walk. Please leave your comments below. And as again, you know, what type of things would you like to see me added to this giveaway of the items that I mentioned? All right, everyone, you go out and have a blessed day. I know I'm going to. Bye, everyone. God bless.